Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back for another video. In today's video, let's take a look at Quant and see where we can land for a price target with the 2024-2025 bull run. But before we dive on in, as always, this is not financial advice. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Please do your own research. I am not a financial advisor. And while I appreciate that so many of you who are watching my videos are unsubscribed, you've got to hit that subscribe button. I'm making content every day, every day at 6 a.m. Eastern Time, United States. A new video with a price target is dropped, and that's gonna be the case for a while. And if you hit the subscribe button, you've got to hit that notification button as well. I make multiple videos a day and I am trying as much as possible to keep up with this rapidly evolving crypto space. So without further ado, for those of you who've been watching my channels, you know, you already know what I'm about to say next. You could just, you, I could, you could pause the video, type in a comment and you could know exactly what I'm going to say next. Okay. So Quant does what Quant does. Here's my quantisms. You all know these are things that I say that those who watch my channel, you know that I say this all the time. Quant does what Quant does. Quant's the honey badger. That's what a honey badger looks like if you never knew. Quant don't care. Okay, so we've been saying that. And the reason why we've been saying that is because throughout the 2021 bull run, Quant just did its own thing. You know, cryptos crashed in the spring of 2021, laid dormant throughout the summer, and then pumped like crazy again. For the most part, some of them were just done forever. But for the most part, cryptos pumped in 2021. And um, sorry, they dumped in the spring of 2021. And then Quant, here's Quant, just doing its own thing. You know, it was at $20. And then it went up to $60 and then it went up to over $100. And then it just kept on going up and up while there was in incredible fear in the entire market throughout the summer of 2021 before that big move back to about, you know, the previous all time highs for Bitcoin at least. And so that's where, that's where these sayings come from. But I think moving forward, Quant's not going to just do its own thing. It's going to do more predictable things moving forward. Uh, there, there's, I'm, I'm making this video at an interesting time with Quant because we're seeing several cryptos pumping and what appears like Quant lagging behind. And I've gotten warnings from some people. There's a person who pops into my live streams on TikTok who just says that Quant is absolute trash. And he, he gives me a resource for looking at Quant. I have looked a little bit at the resource he gave me, and I know that there's debate back and forth. Is Quant legit? Is they, are they actually building something? Are they revolutionary? Are they going to change the world? Eh, you know, not so much, but, but I like, after all the research that I've done in preparation for this video, what I want to say to you is I like what Quant is doing. They're doing good things. They're building good things. They are in the early stages. And so it might appear to some like they're not really doing much, but you know, they're in the startup phase still, and they're worth a billion dollars, but in the, they're in the startup phase. And so you got to take that for what it is. But I like the direction that Quant is going. I like it. That's my conclusion. You know, and so we hear all of these, these buzzwords with Quant. In particular, we hear interoperability. And you've probably heard this word before when you think about Quant. And what you're thinking of when you think about Quant is the wrong thing. What you're thinking of with quant is that you're, you're picturing something that is trying to connect all the different blockchains together so that we don't have all these issues with, you know, USDT BEP20 versus USDT ERC20. They are not aiming to do that. I don't know if that's news to you. That's not what quant is for. That's more so what an Atom Cosmos, excuse me, is for or Polkadot. That's more what they're trying to do. Quant is trying to connect things outside of the blockchain to the blockchain world. They are trying to, if you can picture this, I mean, blockchain technology, what do we want it all to do? We want it to grow. We want it to be a part of our everyday lives. And we want our cryptocurrencies that we're holding to do well as a result. Quant is trying to bridge the real world to the blockchain. And that's where you get the word interoperability from. And then all these other things, these other buzzwords, that's what they're aiming for. And I think they're moving in the right direction. I mean, there's several things I could point you to. I mean, here, here's one. Quant launches Z Zapier integration to easy, easily connect internet apps and off-chain data to blockchain. Off-chain to blockchain. That is Quant's interoperability. All right, and this is a huge thing for me because I have used platforms that have used Zapier. Zapier, I don't know how to actually pronounce it. I'm gonna go Zapier. Okay, I have gotten uh, 1095s from Zapier, multiple 1095s. This is a huge deal. 
And the fact that Quant is working together with them is a big thing to me, knowing that I've already been using the services of Zapier. All right, that's one example. Another example, London, October 10th, 2023. Blockchain for finance pioneer Quant has launched a groundbreaking solution to make blockchain-based transactions more secure for banks and other institutions. So this is what they're doing. They're working with the banks and they are active at work with banks, bringing them in to the blockchain world. And they are early on. And a comparison that I've heard that I think is appropriate with Quant is that you've got to think of think of Quant as like Microsoft in the mid 80s. Okay, so what did Microsoft do? Microsoft didn't bring computers to everyday homes, but what they did is that they they offered a common platform that people when when they get on uh you know somebody else's computer with Windows that it's like all right, I know how this system works. We're in the we're in the 80s with Quant and what they're trying to do with bringing with with bringing the real world off chain to the blockchain. And so what does this look like is quant the one? I don't know. But they're still in startup phase, which means there's a lot of potential for growth with quant. All right, so with that in mind, okay, those are really good things. I expect quant to grow over time. But here's the reality with quant. And I've been saying this for years now. And now all of a sudden I'm hearing other people say this. And I, I hate to say it. Short term, a year, two years, tech is overrated. Crypto projects with the most amazing tech in the world, it doesn't matter for when euphoria kicks in. And so quant, with all these things that I'm talking about, that has me excited about quant for the long haul but this doesn't really matter when euphoria returns. And here's where I would weigh, and I am specifically saying this with quant and not other things. Quant will pump, and its eventual pump will be 49.5% based on hype, 49.5% based on tokenomics, which I wanna pause here and say, it's not like quant's tokenomics are, are amazing. You know, anything that has zero increase in its tokenomics, uh, you've gotta, how are they making money? And you know, that's an attack on, on quant that I've heard from people is that their, their team's just dumping on people. Well, I mean, they gotta keep the lights on and they're not increasing their supply. So they're selling their supply as it is right now. That's, that's what everyone else is doing except the other ones are increasing their supply. I don't see that as a big deal. I see that as a part of what happens with blockchains. Okay, so 49.5% 49 based on tokenomics and 1% based on real world use case. Okay, so quant looks to be a good option for the long haul, but this upcoming bull run, whenever it is, whenever the euphoria returns, whether it's in 2025 or beyond, this pump is gonna be based on hype and tokenomics and very little to do with what they're doing in the real world. They will grow slowly over time, but hype and tokenomics. So you can see quant supply has been fixed, especially even since their last bull run, the last bull run in 2021, fixed at 12.07 million and it's gonna stay like that forever, I would assume. And then what we gotta base it on now is market cap dominance. And so I know you can't see this here, but this right here, this peak right here was 0.22% market cap dominance in 2021. And then this right here is 0.23%. And right now they're at 0.08% market cap dominance. And so I have seen estimates for quant to go to $4,000 that would require a much higher market cap dominance than what we've seen historically. Okay, so $4,000, I've seen quant estimates at $5,000, $12,000. What you are calling for when you call for prices that high is a market cap dominance that has never existed for quant before. I mean, this right here, when it comes to quant was peak, absolute peak euphoria for quant in particular. I remember being on Twitter, which is what they called it back in the olden days, and I remember trying to convince people, people were convinced at this time right here that quant would never come down, that quant was like divinely inspired, that it was never going, it was just up and up forever. And here I was on Twitter trying to plead with these people, take profits on your quant, it's going to come down just like everything else. And they wouldn't, that's what this was. 
And so what you're saying when you're calling for four, five thousand, twelve thousand dollar quant is that we're gonna get we're gonna see something more exciting than than this for quant. I don't buy it. I just do not buy it. And so, you know, 0.22% right here. 0.23% at the bottom of the bear market, right about quant did well for a little bit. You know, somewhere around there, here's my estimate. And I'm sticking pretty strongly to this that we would see because again, there's so much more exciting things happening right now, even than quant. It's got a cool name. It has a lot of potential for hype. People are gonna buy in it because they trust that they're not gonna get dumped on nearly as much as other cryptocurrencies that are highly inflationary. But 0.24%, that's still a new all-time high in market cap dominance, that makes sense to me. So 0.24%, market cap dominance, assuming a seven, to seven trillion total one market cap. That gives us a $16.8 billion market cap. Divided by a 12.07 million supply, that gives us a $1,391.88 quant. And I know some of you watching this video are really upset right now because you're such a believer in the hype. And you hear these numbers and you're like, oh man, quant's at $120, wherever it is right now. Man, yeah, I'm gonna 50X. I'm gonna 50X my quant. Well, let me give you a little bit of a dose of reality. What you're expecting is something that has not happened before. You're expecting for quant to pretty much go off the charts when it comes to their market cap dominance. Now, growth over time. You can see that with its market cap dominance, aside from these wild swings. You can see growth over time. I'm all for that with quant. But saying it's going to $5,000, that is off the charts. It's not, I'm not gonna say it's not happening. It is very unlikely. So $1,391 is my target for quant. And I'm even going to say this, I'm playing this a little bit more conservative. I'm, I'm pretty much planning on being out under $1,000. Maybe I'll have a little bit, little bit left. If for some reason, all these other people who are selling you fake dreams happen to be right. All right, you know, what? I'll, I'll hold a little moon bag. And I'll probably end up being a, a moon bag holder, but it is what it is. All right. So that's where I land, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section of this video. Am I crazy for calling for too high of a price for quant or am I crazy for calling for too low of a price for quant? I would love to hear your thoughts. Otherwise, I will see you in another video. Peace.